How you guys doing? This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use Zone Trigger. I'm working on my desktop computer, so I don't really need it for that. So I'm just using the evaluation version. I purchased it for my laptops in my car. Um, so when you open up, install Zone Trigger, you open it up. A screen like this should show up during the evaluation version. You just need the Standard Edition. So click Start Standard Edition. Once you do that, you get this screen. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add your camera into Zone Trigger. So what you need to do is you need to take a Dazzle device or any RCA to USB device, connect it to your computer, take your RCA cables, connect it to your camera and to your Dazzle device. I recommend connecting only the yellow plug from the RCA cable as that's video. White and red is audio and you don't really need that. Once you do that, you take your camera, you mount it on a sticky pod or something, a uh, tripod, and um, zoom into the subject's door. Press plus, locate your Dazzle device, webcam zone trigger will do that for you. So, as you can see, it says Dazzle device right here, press OK, and here's the camera that's active. <coughs> So next thing I like to do is I like to expand to maximum size. Okay, then you go to spot settings. So pretty much that's all you really need to do hooking it up. Now you just need to make some adjustments. When you see this circle with a plus, it's at, at a hotspot. A hotspot lets you identify the zone that you care about when, uh, for motion. So you click Add Hotspot, gives you this little circle, which is useless, where it says Type Motion Spot, click that, and go to Motion Spot Rectangle. That's a square. And then we expand it all the way. Now that's what we need. Basically now we're telling the program, wherever there is motion on the camera, to let us know about it. The next thing you do is you click Action. And right now it says do nothing. So I click action. It lets you pretty much whenever it sees motion, you tell it what to do. Take a picture, take video, take a sound, uh, play a sound, whatever. I only care about sound. I don't care about recording video because I'd rather record video on my camera as the quality is going to be better. Plus it's not going to eat up my bad battery and hard drive on my computer in the field. So let's click play a sound. <coughs> Click Browse. It lets you pick several sounds. Ding is the loudest, the most annoying one. So that's the one that's going to get my attention faster. So I like Ding. Okay. Okay. That's pretty much it. We're done. <coughs> now we adjust play the sensitivity level. Okay, you see right now, it's not that sensitive to movement at all. There's a little button over here for sensitivity, and you can adjust it. If you put it down to zero, you know, just barely any light in the, my room will probably set There you go. I keep it between 1.5 to 3.0 in the field. So 1.5, perfect. <clears throat> yeah, basically, every scenario in the field is going to get you to adjust it to a different sensitivity level, depending on the amount of shade and sunlight wind vibration uh, in your vehicle, you know, and so on. Every scenario requires a different amount of sensitivity, so you need to learn how to adjust it properly. While you're learning, I recommend being on the bot lower side of the numbers. You'd rather be at 1.5 if you should be at 1.8 than 2.0. You might get extra beeps, but at least you won't miss your subject coming out. The only other thing you need to know is continuous. This means that pretty much <coughs> how much motion is needed continuously for the beeps to activate. I put it down to one second, right now it's at zero. If I put it to one second, it takes a while. Um, I like to keep it between 0.3 to 0.5 seconds because, you know, if I get a little bit of vibration in the car, I don't want my, my beeper to activate. So, at 0.3 seconds, I find that it's perfect. Um, it'll only activate when there are people walking by, but again, it depends on the scenario. If you don't have your camera focused on an alley, 
where you could only see you know one to two seconds of the subject passing through and you need that beeping noise I recommend you put it down to zero if you're so you know watching the subject's front door and you have you know five ten seconds by from the subject coming out of the front door and getting to his car you know point three point five is fine so that's all you really need to know that's how easy the program is plus type action sensitivity and continuous nothing else all right thank you guys